Hi friends, I'm Andy, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically disassemble the latest Dell Vostro 3583 series of laptop. And it looks like this on the top panel. And once you open it up, it looks something like this. And uh, the base of which is something like this. Now you might have a Core i3, Core i5, or a Core i7 variant. This is the latest laptop that Dell has launched. This is the April 2019 here in India, and uh, this is the fresh launch by Dell. This is going to stay for the next six months. So before making a buying decision, you should know what the hardware is in this particular series of Dell laptops. Then this video applies for your upgrade procedure. So let's do it. First thing first, you need to have a screwdriver set like this. You need to have a triangular prior and if possible, you can have a steel prior also like this. And I always suggest uh, you to have this kind of a box to keep the screws of different kind in different compartments. So first thing first, you need to open the laptop like this and uh, put it up like this towards yourself. There are multiple screws over here which have to be removed. Keep in mind that one, two, three, these three screws are a little different. All the other screws are similar. So while removing, you need to be very, very careful because you should not mix and match the screws. So we will start removing the screws. So after you've removed all the screws over here, remember one, two, three, these three screws are different. Once you unscrew, you'll have to pull it out and then again unscrew it. So be very careful with these three screws and keep it separately. Now you just need to flip it back and uh, you need to start prying from these points here. You just need to keep prying and then you just need to have this thing separated. This thing will give away. As you can see, this is the entire thing exposed. Now, this is where the M.2 SSD can be put, this entire part. Just take a M.2 SSD, very straightforward. Just remove this one screw over here and the SSD fits in. This is the two RAM DIMM slot. You can remove the RAM by just using your two thumb fingers and uh, removing like this. You can upgrade up to 32 GB, 16 GB plus 16 GB and you need to buy a 266 megahertz 8 GB or 16 GB or a 4 GB DDR4 low voltage memory. Please remember 266 megahertz, 2400 will also work on this but it is preferable if you have 2666. Just take this RAM back and you can insert it. Now for people who want to replace the hard drive, you just need to remove few screws. And this connector which is connected over here, you just need to remove it and you have the hard drive here. The hard drive is a 2.5 SATA hard drive, it's a slim hard drive. You can just take a SSD, solid state drive, SATA form factor and you can again put it back. So the upgrade capacity is up to 2 terabyte. You just put the connector back inside over like this and you can fit it back. For all of you who are watching this video, the build is uh, pretty straightforward as you can see. A few screws and you get to the base of the entire thing. The hinges are pretty neat, long ones to give it good stability. For all of you who want to replace the battery, this is where the battery is. One, two, three and four screws and uh, you just need to remove the connector of the battery which is over here and the battery gives away. The battery is a 42 watt hour battery and the power rating is 3500 mAh, 13.2 volts. This is the battery that you need to buy and the type is uh, WDX0R. So just take a similar battery and uh, you can replace it. Just put the connector back. These are the speakers over here. 
the speakers you can just remove this uh, wire connecting over here with this and you can remove the speakers and replace it too this is the wi-fi chip ac750 wi-fi chip for people who are having uh, time and date issue you can just remove the cmos cell and replace it with another cmos cell and you can take a blower and you can clean this fan up maybe two three years from today maybe 2022 somewhere for uh, going across to the motherboard there are a few more screws two or three screws you have to remove the hinges also for this we will have another video made for entirely disassembling the keyboard as well as the lcd screen as of now we will get through with this here so once we are done with the replacement of the memory or ssd or the hard drive you just need to fit the case back like this over here and just very gently push it and then first thing first put the hinge screws the hinge screws are a little different you can see uh, they're threaded only at the end so first we need to screw and then again it goes inside again you need to screw it more this one screw is the smallest of all note that and that's it just press and see to it that the flower bracket has fit in perfectly very very gently there might be crackling sound don't worry about that part see to it that it does not have any gap so in this video we have shown you how to replace the memory the put a m.2 ssd remove the hard drive if it is faulty and put it with the sata ssd as well as we have shown you the wi-fi chip the cmos cell the speaker basically getting into the base of the cell goes through 3583 it's very important that you watch this video before making a buying decision this summer after buying this laptop this will help you upgrade all these components we'll be making another video showing you how to basically replace the led screen and the entire base and everything and this is going to be the flagship dell laptop uh, for the next six months or so here in india in 2019 hope you like the video guys uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us please click the bell icon for getting continuous updates on the latest videos that we upload thank you so much for watching so let's do it this summer because this is going to be a very very Walk by, walk by. Yeah, cause I'm safe from my soul.